Hi guys, welcome back to another fragrance video on this channel and thanks so much for tuning in again. Now in today's video I want to talk to you guys about five fragrances under 25 bucks that I absolutely love and I want to present them to you because in my opinion they are really special and unique and you get a great quality for the price and the first one that I want to talk to you guys about is my personal favorite cheapy office fragrance and this one is called Darish or Darish by the house of Razazi. Now first of all the bottle really looks way more high quality in person than it does online so uh, really big compliment to Razazi for this beautiful bottle. Also it's really ergonomic. <laughs> I don't know how to say this but it fits really well in your hand and it sprays absolutely nicely. And this one is an awesome fragrance for the office because it's really a very nice yeah, a very nice kind of semi-sweet, powdery and also really a little bit oriental type of fragrance but very, very low-key and not too, um, not too aggressive, you know. So with most cheap fragrances, the issue is that they, are, that they are really based on citruses, in my opinion. So if you want to find a cheap office fragrance, they are probably going to be a citrus fragrance. For example, like Hawas by Razazi, which in my opinion is a nice fragrance but it is kind of strong and really intrusive. So this one is way better because it has its this kind of sweet note has some nice vanilla notes it's it's really um, in, inoffensive and really nice and powdery and a little bit of oriental so this one also really great compliment getter Darish Purom it's under 25 bucks for the 100 milliliter version. Next up we have Frank Olivier Oud Touch. This is probably my favorite of the five that I'm going to show to you guys. Uh, next to Darish of course which is also a really awesome one. But this one is a kind of inspired fragrance by um, Oud Ispahan by the house of Dior. Or at least in the dry down it really has some similarities to Oud Ispahan which is awesome if you don't want to spend a lot of money because this one I believe even yeah it has 100 milliliters so really awesome under 25 bucks and it really has some Oudi punch so don't underestimate that this has a super super Oudi rose Oud type of DNA it's probably not real oud, so I can really ex I can I can really tell you that it's not going to be real oud in this for this price point. But it has a awesome oudish type of DNA, so they probably use synthetic oud or some kind of combination of notes to reconstruct uh, this kind of oud. And it really smells uh, like an awesome rose oud fragrance. With that being said, I personally don't think that oud Ispahan smelled too much like uh, oud as well. So I don't think there is too much of natural oud in this one either. So you might as well get the cheap version. However, if you don't like oriental fragrances, I would be extra careful because this one has more of a sharp and super, super oriental opening. So really be advised that this might be a little bit too strong for you if you are not used to uh, this kind kind of DNA. Also really nice bottle, super heavy, so Oud Touch by Frank Olivier really gets my recommendation. Then finally we have three different fragrances that are a little bit older. So of course as with many cheap fragrances, uh, the older fragrances uh, really sell for a very very low price and oftentimes they have an awesome DNA and an awesome performance as well. So I have three different fragrances that are kind of vintage but they are still, but they are still sold today. And this one, the first one that I want to talk to you about is Zeno by Davidov. And this one is really interesting because on skin it develops way better than on uh, paper. So if you want to try this, please try this on skin because I promise to you guys you are not going to like it on paper but you are probably going to like it on skin at least if you like patchouli fragrances because this is a patchouli fragrance really really heavy on patchouli and also heavy on ambers. So it's an, it's an interesting combo. I, I would not have um, created it like this uh, if I was the perfumer but uh, it's interesting because we have this cooling type of patchouli notes on one hand and this type of warm ambery notes on the other and it's, it's really a big 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 stretch between those two and it's just very interesting to smell. So that's basically what happens. I think this starts off with more of a patchouli note so it starts off cool and then it really develops into this warm type of ambery fragrance. I think it's a super sophisticated one if you wear it on skin. It's going to uh, project as well um, very very strongly although it's an eau de toilette and it's just a very nice fragrance to try if you want to know more about those vintage type of fragrances. 
Next up, we have Drakkar Noir. This is probably uh, the most iconic uh, vintage fragrance. It's by the house of Guy La Roche in Paris and it's still being produced. And of course, you can see I can get this uh, 30 milliliter one for, I believe, 15 bucks or something. A viewer sent this to me, so thanks to, I believe it was Daniel who sent it to me. So thanks to Daniel uh, from Cologne who sent it to me. And this one is um, the archetype of a typical like 80s barbershop uh, powerhouse type of fragrance. It's super powdery, it's super musky, it's super vintage type of fragrance and it has this really strong and fresh kick in the beginning which I absolutely love. Uh, it's also an eau de toilette, it performs like crazy so as you can imagine the likes of Kuros by Yves Saint Laurent they are all very very strong fragrances and this one is as well. So a total classic, I would advise you to try this if you haven't already, Drakkar Noir by the house of Guy La Roche. And the last one that I want to show you guys also um, below 25 bucks for I believe 50 ml. This is also an eau de toilette and it's called Azaro Porom. This is also a, a very iconic one widely known and in my opinion this has more of a yeah well let's try it on skin i haven't tried it in a while so i have to try it on skin again yeah this one really more of a fresh and spicy one so compared to gila roche which was more of a powdery musky one this one is really more fresh and spicy it's a, a total classic dna if you haven't tried this please 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 guys you have to try this because it's if you don't know this you don't know anything at all basically and it's yeah it's it's a classical chypre fragrance so if you know like Diaghilev or maybe um, a fragrance that this reminds me of as well is by the house of Amouage uh, the portrayal man of, uh, for example so this kind of violet leaf uh, opening very sharp and uh, and spicy opening this is going on with here as well. Then it develops into a musky fragrance, so more of a musky uh, dry down and yeah, really awesome. Typical men's cologne, also for an eau de toilette concentration, really very, very strong. Atsaru Por Homme, an absolute classic that I want to recommend to you as well for below 25 bucks. So these are five fragrances for less than $25. If you like this video, please leave me a thumbs up. If you know any more fragrances that are super cheap and really good, then please drop a comment in the comment section down below. I'm always excited to see new fragrances and it's just awesome to see what kind of quality you can get at this price point. So thanks for watching guys. I will see you guys in the next one and bye bye.